my thing is, is it's all lies. And these tarot readers, I didn't even speak to y'all, but for the uncormic tarot readers, because you got tarot readers, you will see them push up on you as well. Well, these people are some of the people that are karmic and they're in the chain game and they're passing the torch. They're passing the torch amongst each other and they're thinking it's nothing wrong with it, that it's cool for them to do. And they're thinking that it's like funny and they're thinking that it's like sort of funny and, you know, it's okay for them to deprive your, your information, go to your Facebook, your personal Facebook, not, it's not a spiritual Facebook. It's not a, it's not a spiritual reels. It's not, it's not a Facebook page for them to go get or read or get content or information on your life off of there or anything. They're digging into your personal and they would feel so bad if you just start reading cards off of them and just start telling because you know a lot of stuff. You just not into like doing things the way that they are doing it and going and going all through people's stuff and uh, letting people come to you and tell you this, that, and yada, 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 this, that, and the third about anyone because you rather get your stuff authentically. You know, like these karmic tarot readers is thinking that this stuff isn't, that it's funny, but they're reading cards off of you and it's eating at your energy where you're going to have to close down all of, I mean, this is for real, for real. Like some type of way they got your social, got your email, did something, hacked in, been studying you, been going and letting people come to you. Like people were so mad and adamant at getting at you that this was other jealous hearted women that went to other tarot readers to and were telling them information that wasn't even true. Like it was because of who they are and their PP pee -pee brain and them being mad about a man, something that they should have tried to work out on their own instead of going to people trying to get them involved with a situation that they needed to fix between them and this man. This is what this is about. Like, no, you got tarot readers that got people coming to them, literally. They know your channel. They know who you are trying to give, get, they're giving them advice about you. Some of these tarot readers are going up and down your Facebook page, making up stories off of stuff that you just put out and then people coming and telling them so out of jealousy, hate and all of that. And you know that it's coming from nobody but this group, this karmic group that's in cahoots with these karmic readers and the people from your community where it's different females that have their different insecurities, their different jealousies. They're different all the way from the, I mean, it's coming from everywhere. This main karmic fire sign, it's a fire sign. It's a earth sign. It's a water sign. It's a air sign. All of these people like that had people, even karmic tarot readers, they've been getting paid to like put out stuff about you. From pe people from your community. People that stalk and that's, I mean, when a person can't get to you, get to you because you're so high and up in your elevation to do with source and to do with self 
that these people can't reach you because you blocking them here and there and they can't get to you. So they're having to find another way in like, you don't care. Like you, like it's best that at this point, I wouldn't even listen to a lot of the tarot readers that these karmics know that you've been listening to because they're going to these tarot, re these karmic tarot readers, because some of these karmic tarot readers is, also stalking, watching, or whatever. And they've put out information previously for karmics. And they did not know. They didn't go search. They didn't flip cards. They don't have a great intuition. This stuff isn't coming spiritually. They're just thinking off the, off the top of their dome. Just to be doing something. And it's all bad. Like, I wouldn't listen to any of it. Do you hear me? It's coming from a karmic person that hacked into your system that even know about your messages. That's already her, their name is down there. It down there with the legal system that they don't know about. It's just a matter of time before. But you are guided and led to not respond really to the people that's in your community that got you caught up in this stuff that you never should have been involved with. You thought that you was helping a person. You wasn't having sex with this person like that. So I don't know who then slept with who, but you did wasn't involved with it. You may have, this could have been three, four years ago or something of that nature. Uh, you may have met this person. God, and your spiritual team were helping you know what this person was doing. So you was guided to step back. And it could have been a while before you even came burnt. Or these people are following you and making up stories off of what you even put on YouTube. So you got to be careful in the way you move now. Like maybe just do videos or whatever. And they will have to go to your videos to get whatever they trying to get. If not that, they're dealing with karmic people from your community. Like, hey, I was on uh, this one readers and he's a man. And he said, and like, he didn't have no shame in his game, but he said that he's grown. And now that he's doing tarot, like he got all of the, these, um, he got all of, like, he got people from his past, which a lot of us is going through that and don't even know it. Like some of the readers that thinking that they being so slick and sly, to give out information and readings about another. They don't know here in a little bit. It's somebody on their trail that they are familiar with. That they used to be in cahoots with. That's going to other tarot readers about them. To put out information about them. So you got to really be careful about the way you move. And, and just to be doing things. Because it's all going to fall back. I've, I, I've been on here long enough to know. It's going to fall back on you. It's best to stay in your own lane. Get yourself stuff do, uh, done authentically. Don't be trying to go for people out of jealousy, hate, envy. Be in nobody else's business. If you're not reading for the collective and you're not reading to make a reading off of what have already been put out by another reader, then don't. But don't implicate nobody that you feel that you're jealous of or you think that it's a good way for you to get at or any of that because that's bad intentions. That's It's only going to fall back on you. Like all the people in my family, they don't know. My spiritual team go, yeah, yeah. Even my deceased loved ones, I got my mother here. I got a lot of them here helping me spiritually that's deceased that haven't laid down yet. And it's all because... Of what people have been doing to me. They haven't even laid down to rest yet. 
Like, then you got these other karmics that's from the community think they getting at you. So they going to tarot readers. Well, it was another reader. He was saying that. He said he know who it is. Like, he know that it's some people that's from his past, one of his baby mamas. He talking about, and the way he described them, it was not good. He said, yet and still, these are the same people looking like they like skeletors out here. They looking dead. They looking like they got something. They look at people he done left in his past. They then lost weight tremendously. Like he talking about people of his man. He don't see nothing good happening for them people. And by even just that, you should be able to take it and realize that these people was bad back then. And they probably was the reason for why you was going through a lot of things that you were going through dealing with these people because these are people that don't want to heal and they stay involved in mess, karmic ties. They refuse to look at themselves. They refuse to take accountability. They refuse or whatever. But like when you start reading out for of my energy and even allowing people to come to you and tell you, I'm going to just block you. I'm going to block you. You ain't going to be able to read off of my energy no more. You're not going to be able to tell me because I already know what people doing in my family. God showed me. I may not, not know every, every, everything, but I'm a thinker and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to think because I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want to make a mistake or whatever to lead me down a wrong road path. So I have to be precise the way I move. I don't know about nobody else, but I have to be. So this same person that's reading out for you, that's going to your channel, that talking about that people do anything to look like somebody, she wasn't even realizing that you are somebody. Everything that you embody and everything that you speak and the way you move, it's you. You got all of those different talents in you. And for that main reason, everybody's hating. So you might as well, you probably ain't going to ever have no friends collective, whoever you are. You are a person that's multi-talented. You catch on very easily and very well. For this matter, and then your looks, if you look, but they study putting witchcraft. You got people out here, they deal with insecurities of their weight. They deal with insecurities of how they've been treated. They deal with insecurities of molestation. You got tons and tons of people that got all these insecurities and low self-esteem. They really not healed. They really aren't healing. They're giving out messages. Their channel starts to grow and, you know, start get progressing. And these people, you know, they subscribers move up, but these people, they're not moving up spiritually or within their growth of their healing span. And, they just start going yay yay. They say whatever they want to. They dib and dab in and out of everybody's business. They hating on you, hating on this person, giving out messages off of you, reading off your energy because they're a hater. Go spew out some lies from haters that's coming to them with hating. Like you're never going to win. So it's just Stay in your own and like ignore and shut out everybody. Like I told y'all, it's going to take about a year collected for you to just go work on you. And that's health wise. You need to get up your vitamin D. You need to get up your iron. You need to get up, you know, wherever you want to be in your way. You need to exercise. You need to get your money back up because they didn't set up all type of blockages on that. You can't win for losing over here because everybody jealous and hating. So therefore, they're not going to support you. They're not going to give you, but they still, and they taking and thinking that that's not going to come back on them. How are you going to come give me a message when I can already read you, sissy, sus? I already know that you deal with insecurities to do with your weight. You deal with insecurities. of jealousy, of hate. Like people insecurities drive them to hate and be jealous of another individual that they shouldn't even be jealous of because they ain't even got no reason. I don't care about how nobody looking out here. It's your heart. And their heart is messed all the way up. 
It's messed up in the game. They barely got juice in that mug to even pump and to new, nurture, nurture, or to even pump to receive a consistent flow. They got to eat off of somebody else's energy. This person right here just got blocked. They gonna get blocked, and I'm not. I'll never go back to their channel no more. All because of them. Taking a karmic torch that they never should have spoke on, that they never should have came with. These people are out here. They mad. They angry. They got STDs. You wasn't even in it. You left them people alone because you already could read through everything that they, the road, the, the rat traps, the road traps, the stumbling blocks, the block, block, blocks. You was up over here working on yourself, something that they should have been doing instead of thinking about sex and thinking they getting at you, and thinking you jealous, and thinking you this, and thinking you that, but didn't even know you. It's best to get to know people and where they at. Not for that matter, not to just know where they're at, but just to know them before you start acting and reacting and thinking and using your PP -pee brain to start causing chaos and destruction for another person's life and casting out curses on people. That energy wasn't even intertwined with yours. This person was over here building the blocks to do itself. While you was up over here going to tarot readers trying to put black magic, worried about what the next person knew. All because you can't see right. You're unhealed and you cannot see right. Cormac, you're in reverse, fire sign. You're in reverse, earth sign. You're in reverse, air sign. You're in reverse. Water sign. Go get it up. I don't know how you're going to get it up from here on out. Because I'm going to be over here building the blocks to do with self. Putting out my work. Getting my stuff up. Ignoring y'all and blocking you. Blocking. Blocking. Chopping. And blocking. Chop. Screwed. Block. 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 Build a box. Build a blocks. Build a blocks. Build a blocks. And blocking. Stopping and getting you up out of my energy, doing spiritual uh, work to help cover my home, myself, get it up off of me, get it up off of me. It's that's better for you to hold. You're the one who dishing it out and don't know the reason. You're the one dishing all of this madness out. These voodoo, voodoo, and poo, poo spells and cootie, cootie, coo, coo spells of sexual addictions, unhealed, insecurities, all of that. And wanting to walk in somebody's shoes because you've been sitting back here playing games in the world, in darkness, and now you mad. Don't be mad at me because you then went and did all that. And I can change to back. Next time you see me, I'll probably be fully into my espinol voice. <laughs> that's how much I worry about just me doing me getting out the way of y'all way and letting y'all do y'all cause y'all do too much don't nobody want to be stuck with nobody like y'all over here with all types of records medical records that's illegal in itself you had to be working at the hospital, the clinic, somewhere, and all this person got to do is start going down the line and seeing who they really know or you know or whatever, or going up and down your Facebook page, checking out people that work at the community health clinics, all of that and all of that, and go take it to the investigator and have them to investigate them, okay, and see what all they doing. Okay, seeing if they even meeting up, hooking up, doing anything with you. And bam, there you go. You in trouble. Again. See, this little smear campaign, karmic smear campaign, hate campaign, to uh, think that y'all going to get at one person, it's not going to work anymore. Get at yourself and go heal yourself because you're dealing with insecurities. You're already dealing with weight issues, all of that, all of that. You're already jealous hearted. 
I'm not a person that suffer from being jealous of nobody. So right there, I already got advantage over all these people that's working against me. Okay. Cause God healed me. Okay. He lets me know and be able to, um, perceive things in the right way to understand nothing that that person got body wise, the way they look, God mean for everybody on this earth. Something is something special about all of us. If we stay in the light, that's if we stay in the light. It's something special about each and every last one of us. And it's for us to take that what's given and make do with it and work it. Whatever God give to anyone else to help them progress or to make them look like this, that, or the third, the, 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 maybe they have endured way much more than what another person have. We can't argue with God about how he blessed somebody and what areas he blessed them in. We just have to take what we have and then eventually, like God, he's a blessing. He's a God of many blessings by graces, by grace, by his grace. Blessings keep being given. You never know what God could give you that is going to have you in the advantage of somebody else. But you have to take what he's given and work it wisely and stop using it against yourself and other people that you shouldn't be harming. But now y'all don't know how to do that. Y'all up on here, y'all do anything for a come up, bruh. You start getting subscribers and you lose your mind. You start just getting sloppy with the way you move instead of knowing right from wrong. You can't see right, but you so spiritual. Now you're not. If you were spiritual, you would not be taking nothing karmic from nobody and relaying messages. You would not be stalking nobody to receive, get a message. You wouldn't be doing none of that. You would be in your own lane, doing your own thing. Read not for what you got going on because you got the issues anyway up over here thinking you giving a message on somebody else broken situation when yours broken and hidden and you shuffling cards and giving off messages. Okay. Everybody got to go and integrate with everybody to make something. But don't be sloppy about how you do it. And that's what I see a lot of y'all doing. I see you. I know you. And I ain't doing anything for anything. I'm me. And I'm going to be me. And guess what? That makes me free. And what? Obligated and operated to do what I do. And that's why I do it. And that's why they so mad. And when they stop. And when they learn to stop worrying about me. And putting jealousy before the love and loyalty. Then they realize they didn't grow. And they'll move on. Okay? Bye, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what it is and what they doing. I can't with people. I cannot. They, they, uh-uh. No, death magic, all these spells and all that. Quit always thinking that voodoo and hoodoo is your superpower because it means that you're powerless, actually. You don't even know how to go to the real true light of the anointing of the Holy Ghost to fight back. Every time you turn around, you up over here cooking and voodooing and woodooing and hoodooing or whatever. Somebody with something that you can work up. Spiritually, you don't even got enough strength to make your power spiritually from the in, inter we come out and handle what you got to handle to do with these people that's attacking you. You don't know how to do that, baby. Know your ranking and know your place before you come at somebody. Get out of my face. I'm done. Block, 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 block. I'm going to be building the blocks with blocks. Building the block with blocks. Building the block with blocks. Okay? Period. That's it. That's all.
nothing else, no more, no less. Bye.